Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Anastasia Rose. Today we're going to talk about Kundalini awakening and we're going to cover Kundalini syndrome and everything that happens with the Kundalini awakening process. If you like content on spiritual awakening, feminine energy, polarity, ascension, or divine union, you can join the channel here to get a lot more of this content from me. And let's get into today's video. So Kundalini energy is rising from the bottom and it's going up through all your chakras, clearing out any kind of blockages. And often this will make people go into the darkening of the soul or ego death process. And this can be very, very hard to deal with. If you're clearing a lot of density from your chakras, you will be feeling that throughout your whole body. And so this will cause a lot of these Kundalini syndrome and this can last for a while depending on where you are on your process. So this energy is going from the bottom and rising through the chakras and clearing out any kind of blockages that are in the way. And so these blockages are, you know, old energies, karmic energies. These are things in your cellular memory, maybe past life things that you haven't dealt with. This is all coming forward when we're going through the Kundalini awakening. And this can be very hard because like I said, you can actually go into this psychosis or darkening of the soul energy. And so when the Kundalini is clearing out the chakras, it will go through each chakra clearing out and then, you know, it may uh, deactivate and then it may rise up again. So you could go through many Kundalini risings throughout your Kundalini journey, your Kundalini awakening. And so when we go through Kundalini awakening, it's important to understand that we are going through Kundalini energy and that it's not something else because the Kundalini can cause a lot of physical problems that make you feel like there's something wrong with you or that you are ill or there's a medical problem when actually it's just old energy coming out and manifesting into physical ailments so it can feel like a medical problem when we're going through kundalini awakening we can experience something called kundalini syndrome which is when your body is going through a huge transformation and this will cause a lot of different symptoms and you may feel like you are you know dying you may feel like there's something going on wrong there's something wrong with you medically so this isn't the case because all that's happening is that your body is really transforming and there's a lot of density coming out and your body is trying to release a lot of this density but there's a lot of manifestation of physical problems and ailments as this energy is traveling through the body and hitting any chakra points any blockages that need to come out and this often feels like you know a lot is happening in the physical body or a lot of physical problems so when we're going through kundalini syndrome or we have this heavy kundalini syndrome which makes you feel super tired which makes you feel like your muscles are sore you know there's so many symptoms that we can experience like you can feel like just like super sick um and feeling like you know that says something really really wrong with you and also your mental body like your emotional body your mental body is out of whack you could feel like your brain is over analyzing this process the ego is coming in and so for me personally i had a lot of symptoms that you know just so much so much symptoms like if the kundalini was in a certain chakra that would manifest a certain symptom and this is usually what happens like if you have some sort of inner energy imbalance in a certain chakra that the kundalini will manifest whatever that imbalance is and so until that imbalance is cleared so you may have something in your root chakra that's you know that's an imbalance that's that's going to manifest in a physical ailment and then once it clears that ailment goes away or that physical symptom goes away so it really depends on where the kundalini is working on what chakra and what kind of energetic imbalances that you personally hold in those chakra points the other thing is uh, really important to nurture yourself during this time and you may feel like you don't want to do a whole lot you may feel like you know your body just wants to rest please honor that eat 
eat, eat the right food, eat, take the right supplements, and food-wise, I would recommend eating whatever your body is feeling like you want to eat. Don't restrict yourself with any kind of diet. During the Kundalini, we want to nurture ourselves, we want to nurture our body. So eat intuitively, listen to your body, go inwards more, and really listen to what your body is craving. So if you don't eat meat, I would suggest eating meat if you're feeling like you want to eat meat. So it's very important because our body is going through a huge transformation during this time and we need all that energy, we need all that fuel to go through this transformation. Our DNA is changing, everything's upgrading, so our body really needs this nutrients. And often that means eating meat, um, eating heavier foods. I would recommend taking B vitamins when you're going through the Kundalini awakening. B vitamins are very helpful with this. There are other supplements that you can also uh, supplement with. For me, what helped me was B vitamins, a lot more protein, a lot more healthy fats. Um, just eating what my body felt like eating, not restricting myself in any kind of way. Kundalini is rewiring your whole energetic system. So this may take some time for everything to be rewired. What's ultimately happening is that your soul is integrating more. So as your soul comes in more, as the Kundalini energy comes in more, the old is coming out. The old energy, the ego, all the old energies are being purged out through this process and this can feel very hard and this may last a while. So again, your body is gonna be tired, you're gonna be going through different health problems maybe, which are, you know, look like health problems, but they're actually just kundalini energy, depending on where the chakra blockages are, you're gonna manifest certain health ailments or certain physical ailments for a little while until that energy clears out. So it's really important to understand that it's a, a big energetic transformation and the kundalini syndrome can last a while it can come and go depending on you know where you are in your process and you know what chakra is being cleared and where you are with your kundalini rising thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video and it resonated please give it a like comment let me know your experiences I also have um, Ascension support if you need help with your process. I also have coaching. I will link everything in the description for you to access. You can uh, have a coaching session with me if you need more help and support on your journey. I send you lots of love and I will connect with you soon.